notes. There you go, much better. Oh, way to go, Smitty. Now I feel good again. Yes, I am. Speak to me. Okay. Oh, you sound good, too. Look at you. Thank you. Following is a special presentation of Raycom Sports, home to regional college football and basketball. The Wednesday night scene in College Park was magical. Ramos Vasquez in the Maryland Terrapins beat number four Duke, causing a gridlock at the top of the ACC standings. Today, the Terrapins close out their regular season in Charlottesville as they battle an emotional band of Cavaliers on Senior Day. It's Maryland and Virginia with the ACC tournament just five days away. It's a spring-like day at Thomas Jefferson's University, but come on inside. We're in the John Paul Jones Arena for this traditional border war. It should be rocking this afternoon. Maryland Terrapins are in town. It's an AC. Saturday, and it's the Maryland Terrapins and the Cavaliers of Virginia. And hello again, everybody. I'm Tim Brand, along with Coach Eddie Fogler. And Eddie, I know you've got some late-breaking news before this game starts. Well, Tim, Sylvan Lannisberg is now academically suspended for the rest of the season, and obviously that's a huge blow to Tony Bennett and the uh, Virginia Cavaliers. However, you have to respect Tony's decision to suspend 
Bannisburg if, in fact, he's violated academic policy. He is their leading scorer, certainly their driving force. Let's look at the Maryland Terrapins. Is there any chance there could be an emotional letdown after that huge win over Duke on Wednesday? Well, Tim, there's always a chance, but I don't think that will be the case. This is a very veteran team with a veteran coach who understands what a win here will do for their program today. All right, partner, take us through the four keys to the game. What should we look for? Well, for Maryland, for Maryland Tim, they want to push the tempo, the higher scoring game. They've got better players, more of them. Certainly favors the Maryland Terrapins. And for Virginia, they need to get off to a good start, Tim. A team on an eight-game losing streak, lacking confidence, getting off to a good start would be really important for Virginia to be successful here today. All right, partner, we're just about set. A championship is at stake. The tradition of the border war. There is a kaleidoscope of emotions. It's Virginia and Maryland coming up next. We've secretly replaced these diners' AT&T smartphones with Verizon smartphones. Let's see what happens. Where are all my apps? I don't know. This download is taking forever. Is that right? What is this? Where's my cool phone? So, don't dumb down your smartphone. Choose the nation's fastest 3G network. It was just an experiment. When you compare, there's no comparison. AT&T, a better 3G experience. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Introducing the Pepsi Refresh Project. We're giving away millions for ideas that move the world forward. Every Pepsi refreshes the world. Chrysler, town and country. With rotating seats, a pop-up table, and a five-star safety rating. Oh, and our gift to kids everywhere, a DVD entertainment system. Chrysler Town and Country. It's a playground on four wheels. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by AT&T, by Pepsi, by GMC, by Food Lions, by your Carolina Jeep dealer, and by Haviland. Maryland Terrapins come into this game ranked 22nd in the nation, but it's senior day here in Virginia. And everybody's excited to say so long to their seniors and what they've contributed here at Thomas Jefferson University. The food line starting lineups for the University of Maryland, who come in with a record of 22 and 7, 12 and 3. Dravis Vasquez, and what a game he had, what a season he's had. Eric Hayes. Mosley, Milborn, and of course, the Super Frost, Jordan Williams, who is one of the people they're considering for Rookie of the Year in this conference. For the Virginia Cavaliers, a record of 14 and 14. Five and 10 in the conference. Baker, Farrakhan, Tat, Scott, and Mianci. The big story is that 
Sylvan Landisberg has been suspended by that man, head coach Tony Bennett, for academic reasons and not living up to his academic responsibility. So first-year head coach Tony Bennett, who came from Washington State, had an immediate impact. Cavaliers won eight straight in December. They hit a wall here down the stretch, but he is making a statement. Meanwhile, Gary Williams is only the third ACC coach in history to win 200 league games, along with Dean Smith and Mike Krzyzewski. He's in his 21st year as head coach at his alma mater, and he is currently fifth among active Division I coaches in wins. Today's ball game is available in high definition, and we are proud to bring you this game on Raycom Sports in HD. The officials today, Jamie Lucky, Tim Nestor, and Roger Ayers. Championship is at stake. This is the 36th time in the last 41 years that Virginia has played Maryland in its regular season finale. The Terps lead the overall series. The home team has won the last five. The five players on the court right now for the University of Maryland have never won in this building. Well, Tim, it'll be interesting to see where Virginia can manage, manufacture points without their leading scorer playing today. A team that struggles to score even with Landisburg in the lineup. It'll have to come from Scott, and it'll have to come from Zaglinski. Tat gets it back. Maryland almost had the steal. Baker to the baseline, the running one under. Jordan Williams with his first rebound of the game, and it's lost out of bounds. Last touch by Baker. believe a fast start by Virginia is a key here. I do, Tim. They're struggling to, to with their confidence. Eight straight losses. They've lost the last six by average of 17 per game. A good start hopefully would give them some confidence, particularly in the offensive end. Landon Milburn, uh, Milburn battles for the ball. Possession error belongs to Maryland. This Maryland team will battle you. There's no question about that. We saw that against Duke the other night. Seen it all season. A very competitive coach with a very competitive team realizing high stakes here today in Charlottesville. Vasquez for three. Yes. The Terrapins are trying to extend their six-game winning streak. Didn't lose an ACC game at home this year. Maryland won the first meeting between these two clubs. That was back in February. Maryland won an 85-66 in College Park. Ball's loose. Vasquez has it. And the follow by Milburn will not go, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, after the three by Vasquez off the ball screen, Maryland goes to the 2 2 1 three quarter court zone press. Landisburg, Tim, is also a good ball handler. Not as good a ball handling team. The trap right over the half court line shrinks the court for the Maryland defense, and Vasquez a little lackadaisical misses, but Milburn here to follow up. He misses the first free throw. The foul is on Tat. That's his first. The team's first. Milburn's a 73% free throw shooter. Gary Williams is already fired up. He's upset at Gravis Vasquez for missing the layup and for Milburn missing the free throw. And now Maryland goes to its full court. 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court trap. We'll trap the first pass if it's in short. Baker will push. Got by the first wave. This is Maritown beyond the arc. Vasquez comes up with it. Out to Hayes. Hayes could be the most efficient player on this roster, one of the most efficient in the country. Ball taken away. Virginia's got numbers. And how about the bounce pass from to behind? Trailer by Farrakhan puts one finger up in the air. He knows it's a layup for his teammate. To Williams, he misses a layup. Milborn gets it back. Gary Williams calls out the offense and Vasquez resets. Milborn, two pointer, yes. Ball screen by Milborn. He flares to the left corner for the open three. Some bigs pick and roll. He picks and flares for the shot. Landon Milborn with three points. Vasquez with the other three. It's 62 Maryland. Farrakhan again.
Terrapins trying to play for the regular season championship. A win today would get him at least a share. Vasquez was fouled. Well, Tim, if you're struggling to score in the half court, one of the things you can do is get steals for easy baskets. The Cavaliers, 11th in the Atlantic Coast Conference in steals, gets one here for the easy dunk. They're going to need more of those kind of baskets today. Eddie, the foul is on Solomon Tat, so that's two on Tat. He goes to the bench. Sammy Zaglinski comes into the game, and Hayes scores. And if you're Tony Bennett, you cannot be happy with your out-of-bounds man-to-man -man defense underneath a dead layup off a set play by Gary Williams' team. And this foul is going to be called on Eric Hayes, his first. Vasquez three-pointer to start the game means Maryland has now hit a three-pointer in 385 consecutive games. See with a little jump hook. That looked like easy pickings. Well, that's down deep. Something Virginia has lacked this season as a true low post scorer. But here's a young man averaging 15 points per game in his last three ball games. Terrapins moving on offense, going underneath. Vasquez looks for help. Milburn. Scott comes up with a rebound. This is not the kind of ball club that you want to let hang around. It's true, Mar uh, Virginia has eight straight losses, but five of those are on the road. Wahoos play very well here at home. Scott off balance. Williams with the rebound. Hayes beyond the arc. Yes. Now, Tim, that's what makes Maryland a great basketball team, in my opinion. They go to the fast break. It's not there. There's Secondary break, they skip it cross court unselfishly to the wide open three point shooter Hayes. Terrapins out to an 11 4 start. Zaglinski from beyond the arc. Bottoms. Now that's a big basket for Zaglinski, a streaky three point shooter, only 3 of 20. 15% in the last couple of games from three. But he does lead UVA with 52 threes. Milburn gets it back. Back outside. Hayes will try it again. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Maryland 11, Virginia 7. It's Lobster Fest. The one time a year Red Lobster creates so many irresistible ways to treat yourself to lobster like our new wood-grilled lobster and shrimp with Parmesan scampi. Our succulent lobster lover's dream with both sweet mane and buttery rock lobster tails. And 11 more choices, each served with a salad and our freshly baked Cheddar Bay biscuits. Come celebrate Lobster Fest right now at Red Lobster. Buying a home is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. So when you take that big step, let Woodman of the World take it with you. We'll be there to provide life insurance protection and financial security for you and your family so that you can turn your house into a home and your dreams into reality. Woodman of the World, with you through life. Change, it can be right at your fingertips. Progress Energy is bringing you new ways to save energy and money. More alternative energy, like solar and smart technology, like advanced carbon-free nuclear, because clean, reliable, affordable power makes a difference for you and the world around you. Learn more at progress-energy.com. Adrenaline. You can stand in line looking for it in some overpriced latte extra foam thing. But if you want a real blast, get to your Jeep dealer now during the Adrenaline Rush sales event and start your adventure in a new Wrangler. Grand Cherokee. Liberty. Or Patriot. 
Get out of line and get into adventure during the Adrenaline Rush sales event at your Jeep dealer. I live, I ride, I am Jeep. Want to see the highlights of ACC basketball? Check out the Haviland ACC basketball highlights now online. You can view action from all Raycom ACC basketball telecasts and other archived video. Log on to RaycomSports.com or the ACC.com for these clips and a whole lot more. Maryland out to an 11 to 7 start. And that's part of the reason Eric Hayes with five. And Tim missed two wide open looks from three that went in and out. He, he continues to get those looks. He will make more threes here today. Vasquez with the running one handed. We saw that a couple of times at the end of the Duke game. If anybody thinks that's a tough shot for Vasquez, you've got to think again. That's an easy shot. Hard for most players, not for him. Woodman of the World Scoreboard will keep you updated on all the scores throughout the ACC and the country. This is last touch by the Cavaliers. So Gary Williams knows that his team has to be sharp mentally. They can't lay an egg here against the team they should be. Maryland has a chance to win the regular season title here, and they turn the ball over. Farrakhan takes it right to the hoop. Another steal, another easy basket in transition for Virginia. Again, very important. They struggle versus half-court man-to-man set defenses. This is the jumper back out to Vasquez. And Maryland doing a very good job on the offensive board, getting extra opportunities. Tough shot there. And he buries it. Great as Vasquez with eight points. There's an argument that could be made, Eddie, that Maryland was picked fifth in the preseason, and here they are trying to lock up the regular season championship, or at least a share of it. Argument could be made that Gary Williams could be the ACC Coach of the Year, Vasquez the Player of the Year, and Jordan Williams the Rookie of the Year. I think, Tim, you can make great arguments for all three of those people to win those respective awards. Maryland, an outstanding season. Again, not picked very high. The addition of Jordan Williams has really added an inside dimension to their team offensively and defensively. Dino Gregory with the two ball. And now they go to their bench, an eight-man rotation. Interchangeable parts, both offensively and defensively, make them very hard to guard and very hard to score against. Vasquez with the steal and the bucket. And Tony Bennett needs a timeout. Vasquez with 10 of Maryland's 20 points. And the soft trap at half court off the 2-2-1. Virginia, not a particularly good ball handling team. And again, without Landisburg struggling to take care of the ball, Maryland's press very effective so far. Hey, fans, make your plans now to attend the Legends Brunch during the ACC Men's Basketball Tournament in Greensboro next week. Some of the best players in ACC basketball history will be honored in the Guilford Ballroom in the Sheridan Four Seasons. That's next Saturday beginning at 10 a.m. All you have to do is log on to the ACC.com slash ACC tournament for ticket information. Keith Booth will be there. What a great player he was. Now an assistant coach with Gary Williams. Very gritty, hard-nosed player. Tenacious competitor. Well, a number of Maryland grads on that bench, loyal to College Park and to Coach Gary Williams, giving Gary a great staff in general. Cavaliers need some points and they need them in a hurry. They're in danger of falling behind Maryland big here in the first half. Right now, the Terrapins controlling the tempo. Zuglinski looks at the three. Mosley jumps him in a hurry. Mosley, perhaps the best defender on that Maryland team. And the whistle and the foul on Dino Gregory. You know, Tim, the offensive uh, play of Maryland is so good and so diversified. They tend to not get the credit defensively, but also an outstanding defensive team. Second in the league in field goal percent defense, challenging three-point shots as well, and uh, holding opponents to 31%. Factor in their press, it's tough to score versus Maryland. Mosley goes out of the ball game. Cliff Tucker comes in. Bowie comes in as well for the Turks. Mianci goes out, and Hassan Sen comes in for the Cavaliers. A 
Evans with the drive, can't finish. Bowie comes up with it. Bowie, great team speed, gets it ahead to Vasquez. Vasquez way beyond the York. Great job by Maryland to tip it back. It's a 9-2 Maryland run. Well, Tucker knew he couldn't grab it, and like you said, Tim tips it back to Vasquez for another offensive rebound. Entry pass to Gregory, who steps back with a two-pointer. And again, Tucker with a big rebound, and he's fouled. 11.38 to play in the first half. 20-9, to Maryland. Vasquez on fire. This little piggy can carry 1,470 pounds of straw. This little piggy can carry 1,575 pounds of twigs. And then along came the big bad wolf. 1,873 pounds of payload, our most powerful half-ton V8 ever. Never sent a truck to do a Sierra's job. The 2010 GMC Sierra crew may the best truck win. AT&T covers 97% of all Americans. That's a lot of people. I've collected a few postcards of all the places that AT&T has coverage. Spokane, Washington. Boston, Mass. San Francisco. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dated a girl from there. Warren, Michigan. Didn't work out. Bozeman, Montana. Daytona Beach, Florida. Madison, Wisconsin. The college town. I think we get the picture. If you want coverage, we've got it. AT&T. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. We all know the teams of the Atlantic Coast Conference compete athletically, right? But did you know ACC Athletics also brings our schools together to work academically? The ACC Interinstitutional Academic Collaborative provides over 100 academic scholarships and brings students together annually from all 12 ACC institutions to present their undergraduate research projects and study leadership. Our goal? A better world. The ACC, competing athletically but working together academically. With Food Lion, when you gather friends and family for the big game around good food at great prices, you've got reason to celebrate. Food Lion is your neighborhood's home team for savings with great prices on all your game day favorites. Stop by your neighborhood Food Lion today. Food Lion, good neighbors, great prices. Bravis Vasquez off to a great start here, Tim. Lighten up Virginia early. The easy runner for him, a difficult shot for a lot of players. Off the ball screen from three. Off another ball screen, making it look easy. On the steal, another easy basket for Vasquez. And here's a young man who's just picking up where he left off at the end of the Duke game, coming into Charlottesville today. And four of six from three, excuse me, four of six on field goes two of three from three and 10 points for Gravis Vasquez today. Meanwhile, Cliff Tucker at the line. He's a 73% free throw shooter. You see the scoring leaders there as Vasquez climbs the board of all-time scoring leaders at Maryland. Tucker makes the second one, and it's 21-9 Maryland, his first point. UBA coming off that loss to Boston College Wednesday, 68-55. Corey Raji had 18 points, nine rebounds. UC jumped out to a 13-2 lead in that one. Maryland has doubled them up here early. On the baseline, good defense. And we'll see what the call is as they say it's Virginia basketball. Last touch by the Terps. Well, the baseline drive, excellent help along the baseline by Maryland. Hard to see from that angle who it went off. Zaglinski too strong. And a possession arrow belongs to the Cavaliers. No field goals in the last three minutes. Just four of ten for the game. Cavaliers struggling offensively. Maryland eight of 17. Maryland deep into its bench. Actually, it's an eight-man rotation against, again, Tim, I think it's the best eight-man rotation in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Evans puts down the two ball. That'll help. Virginia staying straight man-to-man. Three, 
Charles Iron. That one wasn't even close. Kind of looked like a knuckleball, not very good back spin on that release by Vasquez. The Terrapins didn't run their offense in that possession. Come away empty. That'll get Jordan Williams and Eric Hayes off the bench. from way outside. And again, Maryland comes away without running its offense, and they're over for the last two trips. Well, Tim, those are quick shots. I would think Gary Williams would want more patience on the offense than to get better open looks as Gary starts screaming at his players to take their time. And starts to put Mosley, Hayes, and Williams back in the game on the next dead ball. Maryland, no field goals now for three minutes, and another bucket by the Cavaliers. Well, Will Sherrill, a very good shooter. He's six foot nine, but he's more of a perimeter player. Over half his attempts have been from beyond the arc. Bowie. And he gets the soft touch on the rim. This is the lead back to 10. And Tim, I think Maryland was supposed to press after that field goal, did not even get into their press. Perhaps the Terrapins are a little lackadaisical mentally here now. How much of that goes back to Wednesday? Well, you never know. You could always uh, think about it. You'd like to think that would not be the case with a veteran basketball team. Back outside to Jones. This is three. Stop. <laughs> 23 to 16 as the Cavaliers climb back into it. There's the dead ball that'll get the starters back in the game. Well, Virginia getting back with the three, although that looked like a two to me, Tim. Looked like his feet were, foot was on the line. Now the penetration and the pitch, and Jeff Jones, a 40% three-point shooter, knocks down that three for the Cavaliers. Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles famous chicken and biscuits. You gotta want to need to get a half of Bojangles. It's a 7 2 Virginia run now, and Williams ends that in a hurry. So you get the starters back in, the offense to work all the way back down to the blocks again. Well, those are the kind of baskets they need to get to, and they need to go inside more often than they play inside out, kick it outside, and then attack from three. Of course, it's nice to have that big body at the low post for easy baskets. And Jones is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul is on Jordan Williams. That'll be his first. And to me, that's a freshman mistake, a defensive mistake. Jones going right into Williams. All coaches teach to go straight up. 6-10 for Jones. Straight up would have been a difficult shot for Jones. Instead, Williams slaps down. Jones now has four points, Eddie. He had 16 points against Maryland earlier in the season, which was his season high. Send goes out, BNC comes back into the ball game. Well, through this losing streak, Tony Bennett has been trying everything, all sorts of combinations, playing walk-ons, benching starters, trying to find somebody or some players, more than one, to step up. What makes it tough on Tony Bennett is, Tim, he doesn't know from game to game who's going to show up and play. Jeff Jones cuts the lead to seven. He now has five points. Inside they go to Jordan. Back to Mosley. And he walks. That's three turnovers for the Maryland Terrapins. 7.54 to play in the first half. Cavaliers on a little bit of a run and they've closed the gap. It's the end of the line for engine deposits. Haviland with Deposit Shield. The deposits that attack your engine every time you drive can cause friction, robbing it of performance and fuel efficiency. Haviland shields it because a clean engine runs better. Defend your engine. Haviland with Deposit Shield. Today is a day to upgrade. 
from good enough for now to what business will call for tomorrow. So what's necessary to help you take it to the next level? How about the advice of a financial partner who can help connect you with your future? Today, you're changing your entire infrastructure, which may also make it the day to change to RBC Bank. Come upgrade with a business specialist today. From where I'm skating, where I'm skating, from where I'm skating, food should come at the push of a button. So get ready for a seriously tasty burger. With crinkle cut pickles, thick cheese, and did we mention 100% pure beef? It's a big and juicy burger delivered on roller skates from me. Drive in today for a supersonic cheeseburger, and I'll give you a free medium order of tops. It's big, it's juicy, it's Sonic! Chrysler Town & Country. With rotating seats, a pop-up table, and a five-star safety rating. Oh, and our gift to kids everywhere, a DVD entertainment system. Chrysler Town & Country. It's a playground on four wheels. Let's get the party started with the Rock Band Three Days Grace will open the 2010 ACC Basketball Tournament from Greensboro. Live coverage begins Thursday at 12 noon. ACC Tournament, The Good Life, here on Raycom Sports. 25-18 Maryland, 7.53 to play in the first half. Tim Brandt, Eddie Fogler with you at the John Paul Jones Arena in Charlottesville. Gary went to his bench early. It's a 13-point lead, but that's been cut back now to seven. Zaglinski looks at the three, fires the three, and Mosley comes down with it. Gregory back to Hayes, and now they reset. Crowd wanted to travel on Gregory and on Mosley. They want everything here today. Bowie from beyond the arc. Well, is it nice to be an offensive rebounding team? Hayes takes a pretty tough shot. Virginia can't secure the rebound. Cost them a three. Maryland just dominating the boards right now. All over the boards. 17 to 5. Dontell Evans, excuse me, Tim, excellent penetration. Leads Virginia with assists, error ratio, nice pass. You're just joining us, Sylvan Landisburg, the leading scorer on this Virginia team, has been suspended for the rest of the season for not meeting his academic responsibilities. Turk still battling for it. Ball is still loose, and it'll belong to the Cavaliers. Well, the rebound by Hayes, he gets his own rebound. Easy look from Bowie instead of forcing it. Hayes, a smart player, puts it back out. Evans, the penetration. Me and see the easy flush for Virginia. Virginia hanging around, Tim Brandt. Well, they actually called a foul on the Maryland Terrapins there. It was on Sean Mosley, and that's his second. And he's playing very well the last couple of games for Virginia. BNC is a 6'9", 233-pound senior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And last touch by the Cavaliers. It'll belong to Maryland. So that's four turnovers now for the Cavs. Virginia has beaten UAB, Georgia Tech, Miami this year when they were ranked. All those games were here. John Paul Jones are in. The Wahoos are three and one against ranked opponents for the season. And the Terrapins lose it out of bounds. I think Gary Williams can feel that 
his team is just not hitting on all cylinders right now. Well, they're not particularly sharp. I think they're trying fairly hard, Tim, but they're not executing very well. And now they're starting to miss good looks. Maricon looking for help. Gets it from Scott. Scott now to the foul line. Vasquez wants to push it. And Mosley is fouled. Maryland hadn't scored a field goal in two minutes. This is Maryland's resume, 21 and 7, 12 and 3 in the ACC. RPI is very high, top 20. And they had key wins. They've won six games in a row. They did not lose a game at home, an ACC game this year. Well, obviously a lock for the NCAA tournament. Looking at a 5-4 seed, perhaps, Tim, could even maybe get higher if they could go through the ACC tournament with a championship. Mosley makes both free throws. He's got two points now. When you're in a game like this, Eddie, how much are you coaching for this game and how much are you coaching for the tournament? Tim, I think Gary Williams is coaching for a regular season ACC championship to here today. This is all about trying to get a banner up for your basketball team. This is champions on it. I know he's working his bench hard. Shot clock has not been a factor today. It's at 10 now. Ellen Terrapin's forced a turnover. Wow. Underneath to Tucker, what a great pass by Vasquez. He saw Tucker before he even received the pass while the ball was in the air to Vasquez. He saw Tucker out underneath. He just zipped it through the Virginia defense. Another turnover. That's six. And the foul, and now Milburn will go to the line. Out of the corner of his eyes. Easy basket. Of course, that play all came about to him on the steal by, by Vasquez, who is terrific reading the opponent's eyes. And actually, is a, he'd be a great chess player. He can think ahead on the basketball court. Foul was on Scott, his second. Milburn misses the free throw. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll have analysis, highlights, stats, and a whole lot more. That's all coming up at Harden's halftime report. Don't forget, Telecast provided by Bojangles' famous chicken and biscuits. You've got to want to need to get a half of Bojangles. <laughs> Terrapins by 12 with 4.05 to play in the first half. Keep four minutes here for Virginia. They need to hang around at halftime. Here's Baker with the penetration in the wild left-handed jumper, but shot clock violation. So Maryland will get it back with 3.39 to play. There's time out on the floor. We'll take one as well. Satisfy your burning desire for great golf on Alabama's Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. In addition to great golf, we've got a great deal this spring. Play three days and get your fourth day free. Also, ask about our luxurious resort collection hotels on the trail. Make one call, 800-949-4444, to spend a glorious spring on RTJ's world-class courses. Adrenaline. You can stand in line looking for it in some overpriced latte extra foam thing. But if you want a real blast, get to your Jeep dealer now during the Adrenaline Rush sales event. 
and start your adventure in a new Wrangler. Grand Cherokee. Liberty or Patriot. Get out of line and get into adventure during the Adrenaline Rush sales event at your Jeep dealer. I live, I ride, I am Jeep. There are many places where the kind of fish in your fish sandwich is, well, a question. Wendy's Premium Fish Filet is 100% North Pacific Cod. Try one today. You know when it's real. $2.99. $2.99. Get a real value meal. Wendy's Crispy Chicken Deluxe or Double Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe. All with fries and a drink for just $2.99. You know when it's real. Champion presents How You Play. Let me take you back through the window of time. The MVP of the 1976 ACC tournament was Virginia's wonderful Wally Walker. Cavaliers upset three straight nationally ranked teams. They got the ACC championship game against North Carolina. Walker scored 21 and grabbed seven rebounds. And that's our champion feature celebrating the traditions of the ACC champions. It's How You Play. Cavaliers with six turnovers. Here's Vasquez looks underneath another great pass, and Milburn is fouled. Looked like the foul was on BNC. Excellent play out of the timeout by Gary Williams. A little flare screen for Vasquez, not to shoot it, but to catch Milburn coming off a back screen to the basket. And Milburn makes it. Coming up at halftime, we'll have analysis, highlights, stats, and a whole lot more for you. That's all coming up on the Hardys halftime report. Maryland with 10 offensive rebounds for 15 points already in this basketball game. Milburn has five. Vasquez leading the way with 10 as you see the Miami Florida State final. Florida State wins it by one. And that will lock Florida State into the NCAA tournament. That's on the road. Big win for Leonard Hamilton and his squad. Shot clock down to 14. Last time they had it was a shot clock violation. So Baker has to go here with 10. That's seven on the shot clock. And they bang it away. Bottoms by Virginia, and they cut the lead to 12. Gregory, who jump hook. Gary Williams is a little frustrated with all the open shots that they've missed. Farrakhan from beyond the arc. A lot of Maryland fans here today hoping for that regular season championship. Vasquez's shot is short. Dino Gregory kicks it back out. And Hayes will reset him. Tucker with the turnaround. He's got a nice jump shot, doesn't he? He's got five points. Excellent touch. So hard to guard Maryland. Five different players can post up off their flex cut offense. And very difficult for the opponent to get five guys to defend the post very well. 21 to 9 advantage in rebounds. B and C. Answers. He's got six points. Maryland lead down to 12. Gregory's jumper is good. Maryland recognizes quickly the old adage, two men on me, somebody's got to be free, and they usually find them. Best passing team in the Atlantic Coast Conference team get wide open shots, and again, their bench stepping up again here today. All the ingredients, I think, to make a run in the NCAA tournament. Cavaliers shooting just 43% this afternoon and struggling from beyond the arc. Here's Cheryl, back to Zaglinski, shot clock at 10. And he buries the three. So right on cue, Sammy Zaglinski 
buries the three. He's got his 54th three-pointer of the year. And Gary Williams very upset that Maryland goes to double the post and they Virginia plays inside out and Gary Williams takes the time out and, and asks Vasquez, why, you, why are you doubling the post? I don't think Maryland was supposed to double me and see at the low post, Tim, and Virginia counters inside out four to three by Zaglinski. All eight Maryland players who have played in this ball game have scored this afternoon. Meanwhile, from the other side, we had late breaking news just before this game started that Sylvan Landisburg, their star sophomore, their leading scorer, was suspended for the rest of the year for what head coach Tony Bennett said was not living up to his academic responsibilities. So Sylvan Landisburg, the 6'6 sophomore from Flushing, New York, is out of the game and out for the rest of the season. And that is a huge blow for the Cavaliers. Well, it's, it's, it's the offensive uh, machine for Virginia, easily their best offensive player. Tim Merrill looks like they're going to try to play for one shot here. And they can't even do that. They throw it back court. Now Gary Williams really hot. That's four turnovers for Maryland. Now Virginia should play for the last shot and a half. Cavaliers could cut this to seven. Get a shot up, Tim, with about three seconds or so on this game clock with a chance to offensive rebound and score, and Melvin would not have enough time to counter if they rebound. Shot clock is off, down to five. Cavaliers go. Evans has it blocked out of bounds. 2.3 seconds left in the half. Thirty-eight twenty-seven, Maryland. Almost got a five count. One second. And Will Carroll says, where's the foul call? That's the end of the first half. With the Maryland Terrapins leading the Cavaliers 38 to 27. Just 20 minutes away from a regular season title. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Red Lobster by CPI Security by your Carolina Chrysler dealer by Sonic Drive-In and by Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society of Omaha, Nebraska. Preparing for retirement can be complex. With 7,000 boomers a day reaching retirement age, the need for help has never been greater. A Merrill Lynch financial advisor can help you plan, invest, and manage your assets, which could make your second act better than your first. Merrill Lynch Wealth Management. It's Lobster Fest. The one time a year Red Lobster creates so many irresistible ways to treat yourself to lobster. Like our new wood grilled lobster and shrimp with Parmesan scampi. Our succulent lobster lover's dream with both sweet mane and buttery rock lobster tails. And 11 more choices, each served with a salad and our freshly baked Cheddar Bay biscuits. Come celebrate Lobster Fest right now at Red Lobster. Chrysler Town & Country. With rotating seats, a pop-up table, and a five-star safety rating. Oh, and our gift to kids everywhere, a DVD entertainment system. Chrysler Town & Country. It's a playground on 
four wheels. This week's Pick the Play feature is presented by GEICO. And the fans' choice for Play of the Week goes to Maryland's Cliff Tucker, who hits this dramatic buzzer-beating three to propel the Terps over Georgia Tech. Log on to the ACC.com each week to cast your vote in Pick the Play, presented by GEICO. Welcome back inside the John Paul Jones Arena for the Hardy's Halftime Report. Tim Brent and Eddie Fogler with you. Glad to have you along with Maryland built a 14 point lead but Virginia kept hanging around and brought the 22nd ranked Maryland Terrapins down to nine points here at the half. How about the first half by Graf Graf well, Vasquez? Vasquez? I thought was was good here today Tim. I don't think he was quite as sharp as Gary Williams would like him to be but again he's shown all the versatility that you need to have to be perhaps the best player in the Atlantic Coast Conference. He's leading the league in steals. The ability to pass the basketball. Outstanding assist maker and just a guy that can get it done on both ends of the court. He's a terrific all around player. Maryland four for ten beyond the arc. Vasquez with ten points. Maryland didn't look as sharp as it has but out rebounded Virginia twenty two to ten. Well and most of those Tim are on the offensive board. Virginia I guarantee you the number one thing Tony Bennett's writing up on that blackboard in his locker room is box out. They've got to get Maryland off the boards. Maryland doing a great job getting second opportunities. And of course the big story today Sylvan Landisburg has been suspended for the rest of the year because of academic situations. Well take a look at the scoreboard. We'll update you on some of the things that are taking place because Florida State gets a nice win at Miami 61 to 60 and they now go to 10 and 6 and go to the NCAA tournament without question with that win on the road. Key road win as West Virginia in Villanova in a nail biter. 58-57 in that one. Georgetown needing a win badly and they get it 74-47 over Cincinnati. They had lost two in a row, six of the last ten going into this ball game. Austin Freeman diagnosed this week with diabetes and that had the Maryland or the Georgetown Hoyas down a little bit. Syracuse and Louisville just underway. How about Kansas and Missouri? What do you think about that one today? Well, that's a good talk about another border rivalry out there in the in the Midwest. A, a great rivalry and Missouri, a very good team. That's uh, surely not a lot for Kansas. Penn State and Purdue coming up a little bit later. Hey, our GMC presents ACC basketball players of the decade. Case. Brian Stith was one of the greatest all around players in ACC history. Stith was a three time all, C, all ACC selection and in 2007 was inducted into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame. Check out the ACC.com or RaycomSports.com to see more of the ACC's greatest players from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. That's the ACC Players of the Decades presented by GMC. Retired numbers Jeff Lamp, Buzz Wilkinson. Brian Stitt, Barry Parkhill, who we just saw a little while ago. Wonderful Wally. It's a great list. We're at halftime at John Paul Jones Arena, and we'll be back. I see you have the Verizon network. Yeah. You know, if you had AT&T, you'd have the nation's fastest 3G network, and you'd be able to download songs faster, download videos faster, and you could talk and surf the web at the same time. You got a little math in your soup. When you compare, there's no comparison. AT&T, a better 3G experience. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. This little piggy can carry 1,470 pounds of straw. This little piggy can carry 1,575 pounds of twigs. And then along came the big bad wolf. 1,873 pounds of payload, our most powerful half-ton V8 ever. Never sent a truck to do a Sierra's job. The 2010 GMC Sierra crew made the best truck win. When I discovered that I had gotten accepted to the University of Virginia, I was speechless, but I didn't know how I could afford it. Access UVA is a financial aid program that allows hardworking students to come here despite their economic background. Thanks to Access UVA, not only have I been able to attend, but my sister as well, and that really means a lot to me. With Food Lion, when you gather friends and family for the big game around good food, at great prices, you've got reason to celebrate. 
Food Lion is your neighborhood's home team for savings with great prices on all your game day favorites. Stop by your neighborhood Food Lion today. Food Lion, good neighbors, great prices. Be sure to check out Pep Boys Road Trip on RayconSports.com as Tommy Kane experiences a dream week of ACC basketball. Tommy and the Road Trip crew hung out with the Tar Heel fans at the Duke North Carolina game, then traveled over to Durham to go crazy with the Cameron Crazies during the Maryland Duke contest. Then got a little surfing with the Yellow Jacket cheerleaders. What a time Tommy has. Catch all the thrills of ACC basketball on the Pep Boys Road Trip on RayconSports.com. Our score here at halftime is 38-27. The Maryland Terrapins. Welcome back inside the John Paul Jones Arena. The Maryland Terrapins built a 14-point lead in that first half, but the Cavaliers just kept hanging around, despite the fact that Maryland out-rebounded the Wahoos 22-10 in that first half. Still, they cut it to nine, and that's where we are here at the half. Take a look at the Toyota standings, and we can tell you that Florida State has already won this afternoon, beating Miami down at Coral Gables. They now go to 10-6 and six in the conference and move up. Virginia Tech plays Georgia Tech later today, and Clemson is at Wake Forest. That game is scheduled for tomorrow so there's a lot still to be decided before we get to the tournament next week that's a look at our Toyota ACC standings we've got halftime activities here at John Paul Jones Arena we'll be back could switching to Geico really save you 15 percent or more on car insurance did the Waltons take way too long to say good night good night John boy good night Mary Ellen good night mama Good night, Aaron. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Ben. Good night. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, Daddy. Geico. Night, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. There's a place where the very spirit of golf resides. It's found in every pond. It's found in each manicured bunker. It's found in Alabama. The new Renaissance Ross Bridge Golf Resort and Spa on the famed Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Located just outside Birmingham. It's a world-class golf resort. That's not a world away. CPI Security presents Protect the Paint. And that's just what North Carolina's John Henson did last weekend against Wake Forest. Finishing with five blocks, 12 rebounds, and nine points in the Heels' upset win over the Demon Deacons. Protect the Paint is brought to you by CPI Security. Back inside John Paul Jones Arena at the University of Virginia, the Maryland Terrapins lead the Cavaliers of Virginia 38 to 27. Welcome back inside, everybody. Tim Brandt along with Eddie Fogler. And Eddie, if you look at that first half, it was not very emotionally played, and yet Maryland somehow got it done. Well, Maryland was better, Tim, on the offensive boards. That's how they got it done. But I, I would have expected a little bit more of an expired team uh, than Maryland put out here in the first half, but still in pretty good shape. Let's take a look at the highlights. We'll take you through the first half action. Here you go, Eddie. Well, Maryland did get off to a good start, Tim. They show their unselfishness as they skip across court to the wide-open Hayes from three. A very good passing team. 
And then the ability for Bowie to get kind of lucky there, gets the ball tipped back into his hands. The left-hander puts it in the basket. Hayes, offensive rebounds back to Bowie. The offensive boards really killing Virginia at this point. Maryland four of 10 beyond the arc. Well, and then Virginia has two steals in the first half, Tim, but both steals lead to easy baskets as Scott gets an easy flush there, and then Zabrinsky up to Farrakhan for another easy basket. It would behoove the Cavaliers to come up with more steals. A nice bounce pass there as BNC finishes off the pass by uh, Montel. Take a look at the halftime statistics, and uh, neither team really shot too terribly well, 45%, 42%. The biggest difference, of course, of rebounding. 22 to 10 and second chance points 17 to 2 in favor of the Maryland Terrapins. We'll be back. Start of the second half right after this. Refresh Project. We're giving away millions for ideas that move the world forward. Every Pepsi refreshes the world. For 25 years, the most passionate fans in the country have turned to Raycom Sports to watch the best basketball in the country. Now it's time to give back to the fans with a Raycom Sports ACC Getaway Giveaway. Each day of the ACC tournament, we'll be giving away a package for two, courtesy of either Myrtle Beach Golf Holiday or the ACC Football Championship and Charlotte's Ballantyne Hotel and Lodge. Ready to get away? Register today for your chance to win at theacc.com or raycomsports.com. Change. It can be right at your fingertips. Progress Energy is bringing you new ways to save energy and money. More alternative energy, like solar and smart technology, like advanced carbon-free nuclear, because clean, reliable, affordable power makes a difference for you and the world around you. Learn more at progress-energy.com. I'm Mike Rowan. I'm spreading the word about Ford. Fuel efficiency matter to anybody? Focus has an EPA estimated 35 MPG. Really fuel efficient. What are we studying? Oh, that looks like math. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> What's the most fuel efficient midsize sedan in America? That's Ford Fusion. That's correct. Oh. The 2010 Motor Trend Car of the Year. What is the screen right there? That's part of the sync system. I like this one. Ford's quality is unsurpassed by Honda or Toyota. Now get up to 3,000 cash back. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Put Ford on the list. Okay. That's my message. ACC Basketball is brought to you by RBC Bank, by GEICO, by Hardy, by your Carolina Ford dealers, by Progress Energy, by Gatorade, by Toyota, and by Chick-fil-A. Beautiful spring day. Got spring fever. Early March, but you can feel spring right around the corner. This game is brought to you in high definition by Raycom Sports. We're underway in the second half. 38 27 to Maryland Terrapins. Maryland 20 minutes away now from their first regular season title or sharing that regular season title for the first time since 2002. Lost out of bounds by the Cavaliers. Maryland coming out, uh, Tim, trying to establish Jordan Williams at the low post. Very low scoring first half. I think Gary Williams prefers to have his team in front of him like he does now in the second half with the offense. They run so many different plays and quick hitting sets out of their flex. He can communicate much better when his offense is in front of him. There's the cut by Mosley. And the put back by Williams. Jordan Williams. What an upside Jordan Williams has in this league. Just a freshman out of Torrington, Connecticut. Cavaliers almost lost it. Saved by Evans in the backcourt.
been a tough road for the Cavaliers. Eighth place, eight straight losses. Five of those eight games, though, were on the road. They're 14 and four overall. Five seconds on the shot clock now for Mustafa Farrakhan, and he throws up a three and it draws iron. There's the back cut by Hayes. Get it back out to Mosley and Vasquez. Call out the next set. Much better movement by the Maryland Terrapins. Zaglinski out hustles Hayes and takes it in for the easy bucket and misses the layup. That was great hustle by Zaglinski. Too bad he doesn't finish, but that was a terrific hustle play. And if you're on the Virginia bench, just shake your head, Tim. Hayes is shaking his head. He can't understand how he had it taken away. Milburn with the jumper draws iron. Zaglinski with a nice left-handed layup. Well, that was obviously a lot tougher than the one he just missed, but give him credit for not uh, uh, being afraid to get to the basket. Sam Zaglinski now with eight points. Ten on the shot clock. Vasquez, crossover, drives the lane, and he misses the layup. Cavaliers have a chance to make a little bit of a run here. Terrapins have missed three straight shots from in tight. Here's Nancy. Where has that been all year, Tim? This young man really coming on in the last couple of games, giving Virginia a huge boost, particularly on the offensive end. He's always been a good defender. Senior day in Charlottesville. Nancy, a senior. A little jump hook by Hayes answers. You're right about Nancy. He had 12 points, five rebounds at Boston College Wednesday. And the tri captain was just named all ACC academic. It's been a good week for him. Zaglinski from beyond the arc. Air ball. And the foul is called on Zaglinski. Well, Zaglinski pushing the ball here, getting to the basket, and the ability to use his left hand to get it up over Jordan Williams, and Nancy stepping out for the facing jump shot. 6'9", 223 pound senior from Baton Rouge. Big fellow on the baseline with a reverse layup. Now that's good, Tim, right there. He's only a puppy. He's going to get better, better, and better. What I like about that play was his quickness. Back outside, Evans looks at it. Well, he was wide open for the three. And they almost turn it over. Time out on the floor, 15.55 to play. Here's your guy. Just a puppy, you say? Yes, sir. Just moments ago, a grand opening at a local restaurant quickly came to a halt. Now, apparently, the 300-pound circus burger sign was tipped over where it came to rest on a parked car below. No one was injured, although the owner of the car was shaken up. Now, I'm told there are no suspects at this time, though investigators do think foul play was involved. For Live Witness News, I'm David Carpetian. Katie? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's tasty chicken biscuits, chicken minis, or breakfast burritos. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What's up? We're shaking. Popping. Cracking. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Brother. Dude. Dude. What's up? What's up? Hey. Bro. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Darling. Sweetie. Buddy. Beautiful. Aww. Buddy. AT&T introduces unlimited calling nationwide for only $69.99. So you can call anyone on any network for a whole lot less. AT&T. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Today is a day to celebrate new beginnings of his life and the start of something new for you. So how do you begin? How about with the advice of a financial partner who can help you create all you want for him?
Today, you start to change diapers and look forward to all that lies ahead, which may also make it the day to change to RBC Bank. Come talk to us about your future today. I've owned three Toyotas. The safety of my children is what matters most to me when I'm buying a car. It has a lot of safety features that, you know, sold me immediately when I bought my car. I've never had to take my Toyota in for any kind of mechanical problems. My daughter actually is, you know, wanting to know if she can have it when she turns 16, which is way off in the future. <laughs> so my next car is going to be a Toyota. <laughs> I want to remind you that all the information of the players, the video, everything is on ACC.com. Interact with the ACC. It's an all new look with all new features. ACC.com. Go there now. Don't miss a thing. Here's a look at Jordan Williams, the young freshman, 6'10, 260 pound freshman from Torrington, Connecticut. Just six points, four rebounds, but he's been on a run with double doubles. Had 14 points, 11 rebounds over the last six games. It's been his average. There's a three ball that'll help big time, and he's got 11 points. Well, last time out, Gary Williams comes out with a set play. Maryland scores. This time it's Tony Bennett's turn. Set play for three. Mosley looks for help. Vasquez, they double down on him on the baseline. Back to Mosley, and he's fouled. Nice pump fake by Mosley. You know, and again, they post up the point guard. You got a 6'5, 6'6 point guard in Vasquez, the flex cut offense that Maryland runs. They post him up, and then he plays inside out with a nice pass, as you said, Tim, to Mosley. Mike Scott picks up his third personal. That's big for Virginia. Mosley knocks down the first. So Scott's got to go out of the ball game, and Hassan Sen comes in. But with Landisburg already out, suspended for the rest of the season. And Mike Scott, one of your leading scorers, goes out now with three personals. That's big. That is big. And now Virginia goes big, big. Two big players in the game. It's not as good a ball handling team now. Be interesting to see if Maryland even presses more. Here they go with their press. Virginia doesn't have a good ball handling team on the court presently. Mosley makes it a 46-34 ball game. With two bits, Tim, you got to get one out. They'll send one down the court, sends down the court, but it brings me and C into play on their press offense. Again, most bits are not good passers. Mosley causes a turnover. They back to Mosley. Great look by Vasquez. Best passing team in the ACC now scoring and pressing even more. Terrapins match their largest lead. And Sen is fouled. Pitch ahead and Vasquez just sees the easy come down the lane by Sean Mosley for the deuce. Landon Milburn picked up the personal. That's his first. Where's your scoring come with this group? Well, that's a good question, Tim. I'm not sure where. It's So far, it's been Zaglinski from three or me and Seattle low post. You know, we don't know how long Landsberg has been out. We got the announcement today, but I'm, I'm wondering how, how much time, if any, did Virginia have to practice without him? Jordan Williams picks up his second personal. Mustafa drives the lane. Farrakhan with the easy bucket. He has six. Vasquez. Nobody underneath.
bases, and here come the Cavaliers. Trying to cut it to single digits. Let's see if Virginia goes back inside to me and see one more time here. Foul is called on Bowie. Farrakhan driving right through the Maryland defense. No help. Gary Williams cannot be happy with that rotation there defensively. And now Meansey all of a sudden has become a scorer for the Virginia Cavaliers. The nice righty jump hook. Jeff Jones comes back into the ballgame for the Cavaliers. Zaglinski goes out. He got his foot stepped on and he's undoing his shoe over there trying to. I don't know if he's injured or just it's an equipment timeout where he's trying to get retaped. He's going in to get retaped. Last touch by the Cavaliers. Maryland will get the ball. Gary Williams calling out a set play each possession now with the offense in front of him. Here comes number two for the Maryland Terrapins. Mosley is fouled. Drives you crazy. One pass, and Merrill is able to come off the curl and get to the basket. One pass. Typically, you want to move it three or four times to get that kind of look. Foul is on Jeff Jones. That's his second. So Mosley goes to the line, and he makes it first. The ACC.com has an all-new look and more features for fans of the Atlantic Coast Conference. Visit today. For original video content, access to breaking ACC news, registration, promotions. Follow the conference on Facebook and Twitter, the ACC.com official website of the ACC. Mosley pushes the Maryland lead to 50 to 38. And Mosley is called for the foul. Went for the steal and got the wrist. Spot throw now again here for Virginia versus the fourth court Maryland press. Cliff Tucker has to come back into the ballgame, excuse me, Eddie, very quickly, because Mosley now has three personals. <laughs> Bowie makes the steal, but it went right to Farrakhan. And now Bowie is called for the foul. Well, trying to sneak up Bowie from behind, gets the deflection. Farrakhan tripped. Fouls on Bowie, that's his second. So now, trailing by 12, Farrell will kick it out to Jones. This is beyond the arc. Yes, sir! 50-41. Vasquez's penetration. Shot clock at nine. Bowie beyond the arc. Carries a three. Bowie's so tough off the bench. He's got eight points. He had nine points in the second half over Duke Wednesday night. Gives Maryland great quickness. Cheryl beyond the arc. Terrapins pick it up a little bit now offensively as Gary calls out the set. And the foul will be on Hassan Sen. Gary Williams called the set, immediately the foul. 11.48 to play, 53-41 Maryland. The Cavaliers have made it a game. Cheeseburger. And the kids' grilled cheese meal. And crayons in a coloring book. Thank you. What? For guys who love grilled cheese, but hate ordering off the kids' menu. Introducing a grilled cheese for grown-ups. The grilled cheese bacon thick burger, only at Hardee's. 
Well, hey, glad I caught you. I was on my way to present ideas about all the discounts we're offering. I've got some catchphrases that'll make these savings even more memorable. All right. Good driver discounts. Now that's the stuff. How about this? They're the bee's knees. Or this. Sir, how about just 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance? Huh, yeah. Good luck with that catching on. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This little piggy can carry 1,470 pounds of straw. This little piggy can carry 1,575 pounds of twigs. And then along came the big bad wolf. 1,873 pounds of payload, our most powerful half-ton V8 ever. Never sent a truck to do a Sierra's job. The 2010 GMC Sierra crew made the best truck win. With Food Lion, when you gather friends and family for the big game around good food at great prices, you've got reason to celebrate. Food Lion is your neighborhood's home team for savings with great prices on all your game day favorites. Stop by your neighborhood Food Lion today. Food Lion, good neighbors, great prices. Raycom Sports is now on Facebook. Log on to your Facebook account and become a fan of Raycom Sports. Get updates on our ACC games of the week and a lot of video highlights. What a gorgeous day down here at Thomas Jefferson's University. We're in Charlottesville, Virginia. Tim Brandt and Eddie Fogler with you. Come on inside where Gravis Vasquez has just passed Phil Ford for 10th place on the ACC's career assist list. Vasquez is the only player in ACC history to have more than 2,000 points, 700 assists, and 600 rebounds. The only player in a storied league like the Atlantic Coast Conference. That will take some time to digest and really realize how outstanding an all-around player it takes to put up those numbers. Vasquez had 10 points in the first half. He has not scored here in the second half. And the whistle and the foul away from the ball. Here's a look at Gravis Vasquez, 6'6", 200-pound senior from Caracas, Venezuela. What a year. Is there anybody in the country that means more to their ball club than he does in this country? You'd be hard-pressed, Tim, uh, to find somebody, uh, especially on a team as good as this team is. Maryland Terrapins were picked fifth by the ACC writers in the preseason. And with a win today, they could tie for the championship with Duke. 53-41 Maryland. We go under 11 minutes to play. And the foul is on Landon Milborn, his second personal. That's already the sixth team foul with 11.07 to go in the game for Maryland. Fouling way too much here. And of course, you never, ever want to foul the outside shot if possible, Tim. So Jeff Jones goes to the line. He's a 77% free throw shooter. Had 16 points against Maryland in February when they met in College Park. Makes the first one as Vasquez and Jordan Williams check back into the ball game. Bowie and Mark Milburn go out. This Virginia is the best free throw shooting team in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Landisburg, though, takes most of those free throws not playing here today, so they're not getting to the line as much as usual. And he makes a boat. It's a 10 point game. Maryland built a 14 point lead in the first half. Came out here in the second half and took control once again. The Cavaliers have cut it to 10. Looking for his first points here. Looks up and sees 10 on the shot clock. He's going to take it himself. Working on Farrakhan. Throws up the good ball. Dino Gregory with a quick pass. Cavaliers trying to make it single digits. Wahoos with three players now in double figures. Farrakhan 
Drives, has it knocked down by Williams. Shot clock at five. And the whistle and the foul against the Cavaliers. Call it on Sin. That. Sen picks up the personal. Clock running down to him. That would have ball would have been in Landensburg's hands if he was playing here today. Although Zaglinski gets a pretty good look. This is the 36th time in the last 41 years that Virginia has played Maryland in its regular season finale. Hayes, offensive foul. So that's two personals on Eric Hayes. Well, a little give and go here, but Hayes gets led right into the lane. And Will Sherrill stepping over, takes the charge. Gary Williams asking for a block. Close call. Has slowed down dramatically as well. I think favors Virginia. Low scoring game. And the foul on Williams. That's three personals on Jordan Williams. And this game has taken a dramatic turn right here. Faces of the Maryland players starting to look a little puzzled, looking at each other a little bit. Gary Williams over there wondering what combination to play at this point. We talked about UVA, ranked second in the ACC in free throw percentage. Nancy just knocks it down. He's a 74% free throw shooter, and he now has 11 points. And Tim, we do not want to put the Virginia Cavaliers on the foul line. Best free, free throw shooting team in the league. You must make them make shots. Vasquez scoreless here in the second half as well. That's the Cavaliers' first miss this afternoon from line. Maryland Terrapins haven't had a field goal in three minutes. Vasquez has yet to score in this half. A lot of contact, no call. Come away with it. Underneath the wheel shell. 53 46 timeout, Maryland. Eight twenty seven to play. Will Sherrill on senior day. Have the calories. All the day. Have the calories. All the day. I'm gonna float like a butterfly and sing like a bee. Float like a butterfly. Sing like a bee. I'm gonna float like a butterfly and sing like a bee. Sing like a bee. Half the calories, all the tea. I know that's right. Nothing says love like beef. <laughs> For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's tasty chicken biscuits, chicken minis, or breakfast burritos. Change. It can be right at your fingertips. Progress Energy is bringing you new ways to save energy and money. More alternative energy, like solar and smart technology, like advanced carbon-free nuclear, because clean, reliable, affordable power makes a difference for you. 
and the world around you. Learn more at progress-energy.com. I'm Mike Rowe, and I'm spreading the word about Ford. Now, here's the new Mustang. First thoughts, first impressions? Nice. Gorgeous. It's been totally redone. The sync system is put in there. You want to look at the Mustang? I'd actually like to check it out. Let's yeah. check it out. Glass roof. That's very nice. Oh, that's huge. That's some serious muscle there. Now get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2010 Mustang. Spread the word and drive one. There's Max sitting in a Mustang. There's Max sitting in a Accord. What's cooler? Cavaliers of Virginia celebrating the seniors here in their final home game of the year. And they are off and running. Keep in mind, the Wahoos have beaten three nationally ranked teams this year. Vasquez trying to answer and trying to make sure the celebration doesn't continue here in Charlottesville. Maryland Terrapins, though, now just lead by seven, and it's the closest it's been since midway in the first half. Terrapins' largest lead was 14. 8.21 to play. Vasquez off balance. Cavaliers come away with it with another rebound. All of a sudden, the crowd is back in it. And Virginia's got its confidence, Tim, probably for the first time in quite a while. The home crowd, a factor, helping the Cavaliers stay close to Maryland. It's been a strange game, strange rhythm to it. Cavaliers may have lulled the Terrapins to sleep. <laughs> Mancy having a whale of a game. He's got 13 points. Will the Maryland Terrapins make it easy on Duke? Vasquez beyond the arc. New shot clock for Maryland. And a turnover by the Terrapins. with no field goals in the last five minutes. Blue Devils have just turned up their television sets. Oh, thank goodness you're back. What's going on, sir? We're slammed. Tons of people interested in all the money they could be saving by switching to Geico. Yeah, of course. Boy, did we miss you last week. That temp wasn't working out at all. Took me all morning, but I got those quarterly figures for you. Oh, he ate all my mints. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We've secretly replaced these diners' AT&T smartphones with Verizon smartphones. Let's see what happens. Where are all my apps? I don't know. This download's taking forever. It's all right. What is this? Where's my cool phone? So, don't dumb down your smartphone. Choose the nation's fastest 3G network. Oh, boy. It was just an experiment. When you compare, there's no comparison. AT&T, a better 3G experience. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. One tribe, y'all. One tribe, y'all. One tribe, y'all. We are one people. Let's catch amnesia. Let's catch amnesia. Forget about all that evil. What do you care about? Introducing the Pepsi Refresh Project. We're giving away millions for ideas that move the world forward. Every Pepsi refreshes the world. Some of my most vivid and, and favorite memories are bringing my son home after he was born from the hospital in, in, in our Toyota minivan, taking my daughters to, uh, to college and picking them up from college four years later in our, in our Toyota, taking family trips in our, in our van. Toyota's been part of our family for a long time. I have full confidence in them and their workmanship and the product they produce. That's a top-of-the-line vehicle. My next car, there's no question, is going to be a Toyota. Eddie, take a look at the Haviland Defensive Shield. 
Well, great as Vasquez today, Tim, four steals, 10th in the ACC at over a steal and a half per game. Maybe he can get it going defensively for Maryland. Vasquez has not scored here in the second half. The Virginia defense doing an excellent job of containing his dribble penetration. Vasquez 0 for 5 this half. Cavaliers want to run. Now, Farrakhan brings it back out to Evans. Five point game. Taken away by Hayes. Maryland's got numbers. They had a three on two, came back out and set up. And the foul will send Dino Gregory to the line. Maryland a little quicker to the ball on that possession. Vasquez hits the shot off the side of the backboard, Tim. A very funny rebound, and Gregory with very good hands. Snatches the ball off the board and gets to the foul line. Foul was on me and see that's his first. You know Gregory misses our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. The ACC is the only conference with all teams in the top 80 of the Sagarin rank and even higher in the RPI. You know Gregory makes his second. 54-48. Six twenty-eight remaining in the game. Back out to Jones. This is three. Bottoms. Well, Farrell can goes through the press. He doesn't force it. He runs the secondary break to the trailing Jones for the open three. Virginia making Maryland pay for pressing. Vasquez answers. His first bucket in the second half. He's got 13 points. Now, Tim, if you hadn't scored in the second half, would you take that shot? He doesn't even hesitate. John Paul Jones Arena. Well, the three ball coming into play. Farrakhan, a great decision not to force it going through the press. Hitting Jones and then Vasquez on no passes to him. He hadn't made one all half over five. It doesn't matter for Vasquez. And then Virginia back again. And the jumper from the corner and another three for the Cavaliers. And we got ourselves a ball game. Vasquez scored 41 points in Blacksburg against Virginia Tech, but he was just 13 of 33. Down the stretch, he got hot, took the game over. Well, same thing the other night against Duke. Didn't shoot it great during the game, but in the last five minutes, took that game over. Well, they'll need him down the stretch here because Jones is feeling it. And with five and a half to play, it's 57-54. Maryland's largest lead was 14. Vasquez to Hayes. Banks it in. Senior guards been through the wars, been on the road. Vasquez and Hayes. No hesitation. Hayes now has nine points. Let's see how Mosley does with Jones. And the foul is on Vasquez. Coming out of a timeout, excellent timeout by Gary Williams and Hayes, more of an outside shooter, able to penetrate the Virginia defense and knock it off the board for an easy basket. Nancy has had a heck of a game, six for seven from the field, one for two at the line, 13 points. He averages only six. And he makes the free throw. This broadcast is a copyrighted presentation. Any use of it without the express permission of Raycom Sports and the ACC is prohibited. 
NC has another one coming. This is as close as the ball game's been since the first three were scored to start it. Inside to Williams, outside to Vasquez. Three more. Inside out, it goes into Williams. They cross the guards, and Vasquez comes from the weak stride to the strong side. Inside out for the open three. And just like that, Vasquez has 16 points. Mosley trying to keep the ball away from Jones. Here he is. Hit his last two threes. Cheryl. Sixty-two fifty-nine. Virginia. Well, Virginia, nice penetration and pass by Evans to Will Sherrill, a very good three-point shooter. And both teams now feeding the post, Tim, and then playing inside out. Neither post looking to score, looking to get the perimeter people involved from the three-point line. Feed the post. Cross the guards. Williams looking for a cross of the guards. As Vasquez comes and they go inside out. Jordan Williams not even looking at the basket. As Gravis' parents look on. They've been to several games this year. They're up from Caracas, Venezuela. They were at College Park the other night for senior night there against Duke. Vasquez beyond the yard. Three more. He's got 19. 0 for 5 in the first 10 minutes, but it's the last five minutes now, Tim. Set play, flare screen. And again, Maryland scores out of the timeout. <laughs> Big shot by Nancy. What an afternoon he's having. Wow, where, where has it been all year outside of the last three games? It's like he's just decided I'm going to be an offensive player out of nowhere. It's amazing what happens to him in your final game. Pass inside to Williams. What a great look by Vasquez. Wow. 2.51 remains. 65-61. We'll be back. What's great about ACC basketball? It's winning ACC tournaments. No, it's the crazy fans. It's the tradition. Hey, what about all Americans? Oh, it's dominant big men. You're certifiably insane if you don't think it's the coaches. It's National Players of the Year. Uh-uh, it's the thunderous dunks. It's hard stopping finishes. What about the fast pace? Fellas, it's the rivalries. I hate to say it, but I agree. They're all right, but what about the 11 national championships? We are the ACC. Character, commitment, excellence. Qualities that lead ACC student athletes to success. And a place amongst the nation's best in athletic competition and academic achievement. The official corporate partners of the Atlantic Coast Conference salute these young men and women as they carry on this proud tradition. Preparing for retirement can be complex. And with 7,000 boomers a day reaching retirement age, the need for help has never been greater. A Merrill Lynch financial advisor can help you plan, invest, and manage your assets, which could make your second act better than your first. Merrill Lynch Wealth Management. 
Mike Rowe for Ford at a lumber yard, spreading the word. Best selling truck in America for the last 33 years. A lot of buttons. <laughs> EPA estimated 21 MPG, who's this? This is Seabath. Best in class payload, best in class towing. You can't build the deck without the truck. How would you get the lumber home? Gotta have the Ford. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> wanna hop in? Yeah. I'll warn you, you're gonna want it. Now get 0% financing or up to 5,000 cash back on a Super Duty. Spread the word and get to your Carolina Ford dealer. What do you think about Chevy? <laughs> Next week's ACC tournament will showcase rock band Three Days Grace. Three Days Grace will open each tournament session with the song Good Life from the album Let's Start Now. Get more Three Days Grace news, music, tour information, and a whole lot more at www.3daysgrace.com. ACC standings look like this right now. Duke plays Carolina tonight. Maryland fighting for its life here. Florida State has already won and went to 10 and 6. They won at Miami. Virginia Tech plays later today against Georgia Tech and tomorrow Clemson and Wake Forest play so a lot going on as Williams makes his free throw Maryland 12 of 17 at the free throw line this afternoon 251 left this is the second one and the Cavaliers come up with it Zelensky's been everywhere this afternoon coming up with a lot of loose balls Got to give the Cavaliers a lot of credit. They throw it away here, but what a what a game, what an effort this afternoon. Your star player, Sylvan Landisberg, is suspended for the rest of the season for academic reasons. The team has lost eight straight. You're sitting in eighth place, and they came out and they've given this effort. And if you just watched this game today, you couldn't imagine this team losing eight in a row, Tim. No way. Keep in mind, they started out 3 0 in the ACC this year, actually took it to 4 and 2, and then fell on hard times. And they were picked for 11th preseason, so they probably overachieved early, but not playing nearly as well of late. Oh, my. Way outside for Vasquez, and he throws up a bad shot. Zaglinski to Farrakhan. Well, a bad shot, and no one rotates back for defensive balance. That bad shot was a four point bad shot. And it's a three point game. Cavaliers have not led in this ball game today. Vasquez throws it away. Cavaliers have numbers. Cheryl. One point game. Timeout, Maryland. Zaglinski on the run, no rotation back defensively for Maryland, an easy basket, and Vasquez forcing the issue. Another steal by Virginia. Farrakhan to Cheryl for the completion. Maryland has taken a full timeout, 136 to play. Another ACC matchup coming up next. Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech. Virginia Tech with a 9-6 record, Georgia Tech 7-8. Everybody trying to find out where they're going to be next week, where they'll be seated in the ACC tournament. With a win in this ball game, Maryland could gain a share of the ACC regular season title. They're going to be a number two seed regardless. But Gary Williams wants to hang that banner, and right now the Terrapins are on the ropes. Maryland, no field goals in the last two minutes. To Milburn. Stepped on the line. Called the charge. Offensive foul. The back door for Vasquez, and he runs under Cheryl Tim. I think he's under the basket. I'm not sure. That's a no call. He was definitely under the basket. Let's see if the Cavaliers can capitalize. Maryland needs to play without fouling. Virginia will be shooting a two-shot bonus on the next Terrapin foul. Wahoos trying to get their first lead of the game. Cheryl, beyond the arc, looks at it. And Farrakhan travels. Turnover number 11 for the Wahoos. 
Right in front of Tony Bennett. Cannot believe that Farrakhan moved his pivot foot. Questioned the call. Virginia will get the ball back. They need to be solid defensively. Maryland needs to be patient offensively. Let's see which wins here, Tim. The offense of Maryland or the defense of Virginia. Keep possession. 47 seconds left. Six for six at the line this afternoon. Well, and these are key, Tim. Trying to make it a two possession Correct. game. Correct. Makes the first. Now, Virginia's still in this game. They've got three timeouts left. Two possession game. They need to get a good shot, whether it's a two or a three, doesn't matter, and then call a timeout to stop the clock and set their defense. If they miss, they need to foul right away. Five-point game with 35 seconds left. Cavaliers have played so hard all afternoon on senior day. Zaglinski. Using a lot of the clock. Eighteen seconds left for Jones and throws up a short three. And Vasquez is fouled. And that was one excellent defensive possession by Maryland. They made Virginia run the clock, which favors Maryland. They force a bad shot and defensive rebound the ball. Excellent defense by Maryland. So Grievous Vasquez at the line. The NC picks up his fourth personal with 12.9 seconds left. Vasquez. Makes the first. He's got 22 points now. Rolls in the second. Certainly not the ending we anticipated. Not at all, Tim. Now, still a two possession game. Virginia needs a three ball here. If they hit it, they got to score timeout. If they miss, they foul. If I'm Merlin, I'm switching all the ball screens, keeping the offense in front of me. So, Glinsky for three. Timeout. Bang. Timeout. Virginia. Seventy two sixty eight. This crowd, despite the five and ten record in the Atlantic Coast Conference, has been terrific this afternoon supporting the Wahoos. Great crowd, very into it. Their team has given them reasons to be into it. Jim, now this is a key play here for Maryland. They number one got to get the ball in bounds. Number two, they want to get it into a good free throw shooter. Number three, they have one timeout left. If Maryland cannot inbound this ball, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, they need to use their last timeout. Virginia, on the other hand, needs to get a steal or they need to foul right away. Terrapits bring it into Hayes. Zaglinski fouls him immediately with 6.1 seconds left. Crowd still upset with the way this game is 
coming to a conclusion. Sammy Zaglinski picks up his fourth. Take a look at our Pepsi players of the game. Jerome Meancy, terrific game on senior day. He averages six points. He had 17 today, seven of eight from the field. Gravis Vasquez, who came alive, 23 points, five assists, 5 11 from beyond the arc. Hayes makes the first free throw. He has double figures today as well. It was Hayes that hit the key free throws against Virginia Tech in the double overtime win in Blacksburg. You gotta love Maryland's backcourt seniors, Lyndon through the wars. And he rolls in the second one. 74 68 with 6.1 seconds left. Zaglinski trying to get that three immediately and does, but it's too long and that's the game. And do, and Maryland Terrapins win at least a share of the ACC regular season title. Now Duke will play North Carolina tonight and try to answer. The Cavaliers of Virginia with a record of 14 and 14 and 5 and 10 in the ACC played with a lot of heart a lot of emotion. They found themselves 14 points down in the first half of this game and battled back. Virginia closed it to one and then the key technical down the stretch and Maryland wins it at the free throw line 74 to 68. Bravis Vasquez came alive. He's got 21 points, 23 points correction, five assists, and four steals. So for Vasquez, 23, five, and four. And again, he's the only player in ACC history with more than 2,000 points, 700 assists, and 600 rebounds. Let's go over to Eddie Williams. I mean, Eddie Fogler with Gary Williams. Gary, congratulations. How's it feel to at How's least tied for a regular season ACC championship? It feels great. You know, uh, we worked hard for 16 games. We didn't play great today, but you got to give Virginia credit. You know Eddie from coaching. You hate that situation where all of a sudden something happens like with Landersburg. And I knew they'd come out firing today, and they did a great job. You have to give Virginia a lot of credit. How did you, what did you tell your team when you found out Landersburg was not going to play? Any adjustments? What uh, kind of mindset uh, did you think your team was in when you told them that? It's, it's, I told them they might go inside more because they, their inside people were playing better as the season went on. And uh, without Landersburg, that's, that's a big-time scoring threat. So uh, you can't change anything 12 minutes before the game. You have to really be aggressive on defense, and we weren't. We didn't play aggressively like we usually do. You lost two early in Maui. Uh, your team has come along, uh, has had a terrific season. Did you see it early? Did you realize Jordan Williams was going to give you as much as he, he has as a young freshman with a veteran team coming back? His, his big game was against Villanova, even though we lost um, early December. He had a double-double, and, and from there on, I, I thought he could do it. Um, he struggled today, but this was this is all new to him today, uh, trying to win a game to win tie for a championship, and I, I think he learned a lot from today. The, the great thing about him is he does learn. Like every situation he goes into, he seems to benefit from. Gary, congratulations. Thanks, Great to see you to see get you. at least a share of the championship in the Atlantic Thanks, Coast Conference. Eddie. And now back to Tim. Tim. All right, Eddie, thank you very much. Congratulations to Gary Williams on that championship, his first regular season championship since the 2002 season. That was Juan Dixon in the group that went on to win the national title. Gravis Vasquez today, 23 points, 7 of 18 from the field, 5 of 11 from beyond New York. He had five assists, four steals, went quiet for a portion of the second period, but with the game on the line, got into a two-man game here with Jordan Williams. They kick him back outside. He knocked down the three. Maryland wins at 74-68. Let's go back out to Eddie Fogler. Gravis, at least a share of the ACC championship. How's it feel? Well, first of all, I just want to thank God. Uh, we did it for him, for his glory. Um, it's, it's just a great feeling, man. I have no words to describe this feeling. Uh, I love my teammates. They have been carrying me and, and helping me to, to become a better person and a better player. So it was, it was a great win for us. You struggled in the second half. You missed your first five shots. You probably don't even realize that, but you never stop looking at the basket. Where does the confidence come from in Gravis Vasquez to be able to go take the big shot even when you might be struggling a little bit, especially down the stretch of a close game? Well, I just want to win so bad. I want to win badly. You know, I worked so hard. Even though, you know, I took some horrible shots today because I was so tired and the no excuses, but, you know, I got to get, I gotta, I gotta get some rest. But uh, it's just the willing to win. I want to win no matter what, whether, you know, whether I'm going to hit a tough shot or not. All I want to do is just win. You think they're having fun in College Park right now? 
well, the time of my life. I love Maryland. I love, you know, what I'm doing right now. I just, I will never forget this time. And um, it's been a pleasure. Congratulations. Thank Good luck so in the tournament. Back to Tim. All right, Eddie, thank you very much. Gravis Vasquez, so many Maryland fans down here today. That's who Gary Williams was saying. Are you enjoying this? He was talking to the Maryland fans behind us here. There's a look at Gravis Vasquez's parents. And Gravis Vasquez again with a pretty good line. 23 points, five assists, and four steals. 74-68, Maryland wins a share of the regular season ACC championship. More after this. Nothing says love like beef. For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's tasty chicken biscuits, chicken minis, or breakfast burritos. Preparing for retirement can be complex. And with 7,000 boomers a day reaching retirement age, the need for help has never been greater. A Merrill Lynch financial advisor can help you plan, invest, and manage your assets, which could make your second act better than your first. Merrill Lynch Wealth Management. This little piggy can carry 1,470 pounds of straw. This little piggy can carry 1,575 pounds of twigs. And then along came the big bad wolf. 1,873 pounds of payload, our most powerful half-ton V8 ever. Never sent a truck to do a Sierra's job. The 2010 GMC Sierra crew made the best truck win. Maryland Terrapins come away with a hard-fought win, 74-68 today here in Charlottesville against the Cavaliers. And Gary Williams is right. You've got to give the Cavaliers a lot of credit for the way they fought back from a 14-point deficit to make this a heck of a ball game. Well, they really competed very hard here to them. today, Tim. You know, senior day is always an emotional day. Virginia shot the ball very, very well. A team that struggled to shoot the ball here during their losing streak over 50% against one of the best defenses in the conference. So uh, I, I think that factor, and then when you shoot it well, your defense gets better. They also did a good job defensively. And a huge game by Jerome Mancy here on senior day. He came up big, 17 points. He averaged at just six, and he was spectacular all day long. You well, take a look at what a season this has been for the Maryland Terrapins. We start, we take you back to the Georgia Tech game. Cliff Tucker takes the inbound pass with 1.5 seconds left, and he wins it 76-74. Against Virginia Tech, it was Vasquez with the double-double, career-high 41 points. And, of course, Vasquez, at the end of every ball game, is looking to score, and he did against Virginia Tech. <laughs> and he did it in the castle. And then last Wednesday against Duke, Vasquez with a big shot, less than a minute to go. They storm the court, and the Terrapins beat the Blue Devils 79-72. That's one heck of a run with close ball games with a very veteran ball club. Well, the great teams win the close games, Tim. Every season, there's going to be a number of close games, and that's why all coaches practice close game situations. And you got a great coach, a very veteran coach on that Maryland bench. He's he's done it a few times and has his team ready. Got all the Maryland fans here behind us enjoying the championship. The Maryland fans. We'll be back with the final thoughts after this. See, you have the Verizon network. Yeah. You know, if you had AT&T, you'd have the nation's fastest 3G network. And you'd be able to download songs faster, download videos faster. And you could talk and surf the web at the same time. You got a little map in your suit. When you compare, there's no comparison. AT&T, a better 3G experience. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Did the Waltons take way too long to say goodnight? Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Mama. Good night, Aaron. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Ben. Good night. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night Daddy. GEICO. Good night, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. 
it's Lobster Fest. The one time a year Red Lobster creates so many irresistible ways to treat yourself to lobster. Like our new wood grilled lobster and shrimp with Parmesan scampi. Our succulent lobster lover's dream with both sweet mane and buttery rock lobster tails. And 11 more choices, each served with a salad and our freshly baked Cheddar Bay biscuits. Come celebrate Lobster Fest right now at Red Lobster. Well, if you're just joining us this afternoon, the Maryland Terrapins have beaten the Cavaliers of Virginia 74-68 here in Charlottesville at the John Paul Jones Arena. And with that win, the 22nd ranked Maryland Terrapins win a share of the regular season ACC championship. And that's huge for Maryland. It's been a while. Well, it has been a while. And, uh, you know, Gary Williams, uh, a year or two ago, Tim, was su supposedly feeling the heat, you know, in College Park about his tenure uh, at the University of Maryland. There are, I mean, he can coach with anybody and what a team he has. I love the interchangeable parts. They get, they've got an eight man rotation. They guard you, they can shoot the three. They got the great senior backcourt. Backcourts win games and they've got it. Maryland goes to 13 and three in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Take a look at the ACC standings. Maryland, now Duke plays Carolina tonight. Well, that'll be a very tough game, obviously, uh, for North Carolina, who's not had a very good season and, and an unbelievably difficult place to play. And of course, uh, John Shire's last home game, uh, that'll be quite an emotional thing over there in Durham, to say the least. Maryland fans behind you chanting UNC. You don't see Maryland cheering for the Tar Heels <laughs> very often, but they are here. How about Florida State? Florida State goes down to Miami today. They get a one-point win, and they now go to 10-6 and six in the conference. Well, I think, again, I said it dur during the broadcast, Tim, I think that locks the NCAA bid up for Florida State, who might have been on the bubble going in. The road win is what gets them into the NCAA turning, winning at Miami, 10 wins in the league. Uh, they're a lock. Virginia Tech has to play Georgia Tech. That game coming up next on Raycon Sports. And then, of course, Clemson Wake Forest. That game is tomorrow. We'll be back again here to the John Paul Jones Arena right after this. Just moments ago, a grand opening at a local restaurant quickly came to a halt. Now, apparently, the 300-pound circus burger sign was tipped over where it came to rest on a parked car below. No one was injured, although the owner of the car was shaken up. Now, I'm told there are no suspects at this time, though investigators do think foul play was involved. For Live Witness News, I'm David Carpetian. Katie? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits Chicken Minis or Breakfast Burritos. Play. Remember that word? Go ahead. Satisfy your burning desire for great golf on Alabama's Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. In addition to great golf, we've got a great deal this spring. Play three days and get your fourth day free. Also, ask about our luxurious resort collection hotels on the trail. Make one call, 800-949-4444, to spend a glorious spring on RTJ's world-class courses. I'm an attorney and I spend a lot of time on the road and it's a lot of travel by car. My 2007 Prius has 92,300 miles on it and it's a, a two-year-old car. I had some level of concern when I learned about the Toyota recall, but I was always confident that whatever the problem or issue was, it would be addressed appropriately. I think Toyota will emerge from this even stronger. That's why my next car will be a Toyota. ACC Basketball has been brought to you by GEICO, by Toyota, by Pepsi, by Chick-fil-A, by Food Life, and by AT&T. Okay. Back inside, John Paul Jones Arena, Charlottesville, Virginia. So nice outside, we could have played it outside. It's a spring-like day. 74-68, the Maryland Terrapins get a win. Not the way we thought this game would end. It ended with a big technical foul, which really changed the complexion of the ending. Well, it was unfortunate, Tim. A very close block charge call that went against Virginia, uh, and Tony Bennett took his coat off. And as a former coach, my perspective would be the following. That was fine, but when Tony threw it on the floor, and Jamie Lucky saw him throw it down in, in a show of disgust about the call onto the floor. That spurred the technical foul. Uh, Tony Bennett typically is very quiet and mild-mannered on the sideline. 
uh, pretty frustrated coach at that point, uh, coming in with an eight-game losing streak. His team's in position to win the game. And you know, unfortunately, a tough call goes against Virginia. But even with that T, if you go to the highlights here, Vasquez took over this game down the stretch and kept Maryland alive. A day when Maryland was struggling, he was sensational. Well, he was down the stretch. I mean, what a, what a luxury to have a young man who wants the ball down the stretch of close games. Now, these are in the first half. He gets off to a very good start. Start, you know, as did Maryland, as Vasquez shows you his ability to do a lot of different things, whether it's off the dribble, shoot threes, steal it, get to the basket. He can do everything. And then, of course, for Virginia, you don't play Maryland as tough as they did without some excellent play from Virginia. Jeff Jones, four of six from three here today. Scoring 16 points, averaging only six coming into this game. Really stepped up big for the Virginia Cavaliers. And then, of course, Jerome Meancy, out of nowhere, the last two to three weeks has just become a scorer, Tim. You would scratch your head and say, where's this been for three and a half seasons or so? But this young man's now becoming a force. And by the way, I would not want to play Virginia in Greensboro next week. Not after this game from what I saw here today. Sylvan Landisberg suspended for the rest of the season for academics. And as you look at the final statistics, once again, Maryland shot 42 percent Virginia 53 percent from the field well Virginia had shot over 40 percent one time in their last eight games now when their offense is better their defense seems to be better most teams go along that way when you shoot it well you guard better and they did it on both ends of the court the offensive rebounding by Maryland though that was the key that's what ultimately beat Virginia here today 17 to 4 in Maryland's favor we'll be back to John Paul Jones Arena right after this AT&T covers 97% of all Americans. That's a lot of people. I've collected a few postcards of all the places that AT&T has covered. Spokane, Washington. Boston, Mass. San Francisco. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dated a girl from there. Warren, Michigan. Didn't work out. Bozeman, Montana. Daytona Beach, Florida. Madison, Wisconsin. The college town. I think we get the picture. If you want coverage, we've got it. AT&T. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. There's something for every fan of the Atlantic Coast Conference on the new TheACC.com. Log on today and check out the new look and enhanced features. You can watch unique video and live events. Register for great prizes. Follow the ACC on Facebook and Twitter. Plus, keep up to date with the latest standings, information, and conference releases. Log on today to the new TheACC.com for content you can't find anywhere else. With Food Lion, when you gather friends and family for the big game around good food at great prices, you've got reason to celebrate. Food Lion is your neighborhood's home team for savings with great prices on all your game day favorites. Stop by your neighborhood Food Lion today. Food Lion, good neighbors, great prices. Set to go to Greensboro, all set for the ACC tournament. It starts next week. The Maryland Terrapins now won't have to play until Friday, but Virginia will have to play Thursday. Cavaliers fall today 74-68. Interesting game, but as you look ahead to the tournament, what are your thoughts? Well, I see a very balanced tournament team. I think, you know, you look at a Virginia team with five ACC wins off of today. They can beat anybody. NC State with only four, North Carolina with four. The point I'm making is the bottom teams are good basketball teams. They're competitive. Every game should be an interesting game. Florida State's win today. How many teams get into the NCAAs? I think the, I think the league gets at least six and perhaps seven. And that's what a lot of the so-called experts were saying. This was a down year in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Well, he's saying wrap it up, fellas. 74-68, but we'll be back right after this. With the new Geico Glove Box app, you can get help with a flat tire. Find a nearby tow truck or gas station. Call emergency services. Collect accident information. Or just watch some fun videos. It's so easy, a caveman can do it. Unbelievable. Where's my coat? It was swayed with a friend. Download the Glove Box app free at geico.com. 
Today is a day to concentrate on your goal, to take your very best shot. But how do you make sure you have the right game plan? How about with the advice of a financial partner who can help you create your idea of success? Today, you'll change from contender to champion, which may also make it the day to change to RBC Bank. Come prepare a winning strategy with us today. Coming up next on Raycom Sports, Virginia Tech travels down Tobacco Road to play Georgia Tech. Virginia Tech led by Malcolm Delaney and the Hokies with a 9 and 6 record trying to keep track and trying to stay up with Florida State, which won today at Miami and also has a 10 and 6 record. Once again, down here in Charlottesville, the Maryland Terrapins come away with a 74 68 win. Eddie Fogler, your final thoughts. Well, congratulations uh, for Maryland to at least clinch a share of the title, Tim, uh, to Gary Williams and his outstanding team, and certainly to Virginia. Congratulations on an outstanding effort playing shorthanded here today. Yeah, give Tony Bennett and his players a, 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 a big round of applause for just really giving it all. Once again, coming up next, Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech on Raycom Sports. Once again, the final score, Maryland 74, Virginia 68. Maryland wins a share of the ACC regular season championship.